Hello everyone and happy Monday and in this video I have some very good news for you guys and also some not so good news at all so make sure to watch this video from the beginning and until the end and we're gonna start with a quick reminder as to what is gonna come this week on Friday and that's gonna be the core PCE data which is gonna be the report on inflation the primary gauge for Federal Reserve which influences their decision making and their forecast currently is 4.3 so if it's going to come in at 4.4 or something worse, well, you know, that is going to be the confirmation that the inflation is sticky and everything is quite bad. So February 24th, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. So this is just a quick reminder. And guys, if you enjoy these updates, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So you're always notified when I make a new upload. And also join my free Discord channel. There is a link down in the description of this video as well as in the pinned comment. This is where we post all of my trades and the trades of my team. And we're doing exceptionally well. Not every trade is a profit, but not nonetheless it's a community of 30,000 like-minded traders so if you're not part of it and it's absolutely free then I mean I don't know what you're doing so go join it right now so let's move on to what is really cool and this is stems from the beginning of the comments of Cameron Winkle was uh, and he predicts that the next crypto bull run will be actually driven by Asia because right now we see SAC going after uh, crypto and staking and NIS and NAT so and also stable coins now with BUSD so a lot of trouble in the United States so right now Cameron is actually pointing his finger towards Asia and as we've seen already you know the Hong Kong narrative is actually growing and a lot of institutions in China, which is huge money, also very huge money, is going to get access to crypto. And they start to understand that this is the future. And besides this, uh, also, we have to see uh, what is happening in the Middle East, which is on the way to Asia, so to speak, from all the way from the West in the middle is Middle East and then Asia. So Middle East is also playing a huge game because this is an older article from January 21st. And we've seen that crypto is about to play a major role in the UAE trade as their foreign trade minister has actually stated. And what is happening now? Well, look, I mean, for one, in general, the Arab world, um, the, the adoption itself is already growing. And we're seeing that leading Bahrainian hotel is starting to accept Bitcoin payments. This isn't huge, but this is just step by step and bit by bit. And just feeding the narrative of this article right here, we see Abu Dhabi making huge moves right now. Abu Dhabi goes all in on crypto with a $2 billion investment program for Web3 and blockchain startups. So if this is not the sign that they are really serious about what they were saying previously then I don't know what is and of course if we're going to take a look at for example you know situation with Kraken a lot of people could say but you know US is going after it you know all the exchanges and stable coins laboring everything is a security this is going to slow all of it down but the thing is that here and they were talking to UAE basically and as they said their reply was very simple and I love it it's absolutely amazing and it's so true it is very important not to focus on crypto exchanges because these are just a small part of the overall economy ecosystem. UAE is seen as a center of innovation for the crypto blockchain system from the regulation to education and support. What does this mean, guys? This means that this is exactly the narrative that I was talking about, that US can ban whatever they want. It's going to slow down the adoption, certainly, but it's not going to kill crypto because for crypto to be dead, Bitcoin to be dead, so many countries, all of the countries in the world have to come together, which is impossible. We all know this. They will never be able to agree on something that big on banning a multi-trillion dollar market and then ban it simultaneously then maybe it could kill crypto but we know it's not gonna happen and right now we're seeing proof while US is in quantitative tightening and you know starting to go after crypto China is what it's in quantitative easing and Hong Kong is starting to open up its doors back to crypto so this is absolutely magnificent so this just proves the point that we can disregard whatever that's why crypto you know we have so many issues right now but it starts to kind of decouple and you have to check out my previous videos where i talked about all of this it starts to decouple so and you know especially when we take a look at dixie dixie is rallying but so is bitcoin while for example s p 500 is actually going to the downside so it is decoupling it's amazing it's very exciting but this is where sadly good news actually 
finish and before i go into some bad news guys remember that if you want to be trading actively yourself longing or shorting bitcoin number one check out this tutorial that is popping up above as to how to do it properly with proper risk and money management and proper strategies and number two use my link down in the description of this video to buy a bit and you can claim up to thirty thousand dollars initial deposit bonuses exclusively with that link also if you deposit just a hundred dollars you'll be automatically entering into a rolex giveaway and guess what? I still have one Rolex box left right here. So one Rolex is still left, which I'm going to give away in a random video to one of you guys. All you have to have is a Bybit account and you have to fund it with at least $100 using my link down below. And if you deposit more than $500, you'll get my famous paid crypto course for absolutely free sent to your email within three days. And lastly, all deposited users get access to my crypto signals community for absolutely free for a lifetime, uh, which is again linked down in the description. This is the Discord channel that we have. If you're a Bybit trader, you use my link, you have complimentary lifetime access to it. And this is quite frankly the only way to get into it. So now let's talk about the negative side of things. So fundamentals are quite beautiful and we have so many things happening for the long term perspective. It's all just, I mean, so this, you know, the stuff we just discussed makes me so. I mean, happy just to in keep investing in Bitcoin. Well, certainly not at the current prices. As I told you, I made this video. I'm going to link it up here. I bought Bitcoin here at 17K. So anyway, and right now what we are seeing is that there is still big rejection that we saw recently, just I think yesterday, from the $25,000 mark. Right now we have a lot of fighting happening. A lot of volume is here. That We have this $25,000 level, which also coincides with this uh, death cross in the weekly chart between 200 moving average and 50 moving average. And as you can see right here, we actually got rejected yesterday from all of it. So we did not go past, unfortunately, and we really were hoping to close in the weekly to break out in the weekly chart and actually close above $25,000. But sadly, it just did not happen. So this is sort of kind of a small weakness. So that's what I really want to see happen in a short term perspective. I really want to see us go. Let's go to a smaller time frame. I really want to see us pump and break above it and stabilize above $25,000. This would confirm the narrative just at least technically as well that we are decoupling and we are showing technical strength. So as you can see, I mean, this is just absolutely beautiful. We got rejected once twice and then we got supported from here what is this this is actually this level right here and we got supported from it again and this is just how technical analysis, how beautiful technical analysis is people who say it doesn't work i mean they just don't know how to use it and if you want to there are still two actually one sold out two seats left in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship there is a link to schedule a call with my team down in the description of this video if you want to become one of my one-on-one -on -one mentees and learn everything from me social media marketing trading investing crypto company formations whatever everything that I'm doing and all of my cash flow I'm happy to share as to how I do it and I'll be an open book for you so there's this two seats left in my VIP mentorship schedule a call with my team if you want to learn how I do all of this stuff and save yourself years of time so right now our current I mean is this what's gonna happen till the end of the week and is this what we're gonna see the squeeze in between here and until for example CPC is gonna come in quite good and we're gonna actually break above and hit the next targets and actually finally stabilize above 25,000 confirming the narrative which I discussed or are we actually going to break down below and then see support in this huge bunch of order blocks um, finishing it at about 21,500 and if that's not going to hold then our way is going to be open all the way down to 20k 18k 17k so this is a very important turning point for Bitcoin right now because everybody understands the 25k is all or nothing type of a level so this is what you really have to pay attention to but for now we still are looking fine because we have this it still is moving to the upside and potentially is going to squeeze it for an, another attempt to break above but this is what we need to see and sadly we did not see this break above and closure in the weekly chart above this level in the weekly chart which is really what we wanted to confirm it technically as well okay guys check out this quick tutorial as to how to trade bitcoin properly with proper risk and money management use all the links down below sign up for a call with my team if you're interested to become one of my one-on-one -on -one mentees and learn how did i become a multimillionaire at the age of 28 years old and as always subscribe hit that notification bell and peace and love thomas Crawlow. stay smart stay rich and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.